here we are once again. Today we got another model kit to talk about. So back uh, back in about back around July of 2015, I went on a trip to Japan, and uh, yeah, you know, we know Japan. That's the place where they have a lot of model kits. You know, a good place where they will take where they will suck all your money. <laughs> so especially the Akihabara district in Tokyo, which like I went there too. And uh, when I was there, I found I found a big market with all these like model kits, figures, and you know just regular toys. But but you know. But we don't need toys because we're adults. We want models and figures. <laughs> so it's, anyway, I found some fighter jets right here. Yep. Here's here's the here's the F twenty two one, and here's the F fifteen one. And uh, these fighter jets they look they look kind of they look kind of small, but but then the detail is good. So that, that's why I bought them. Like they they did all the paint job for you. And so all you gotta do is put the pieces together. Sounds simple enough, right? Yep. And uh, yeah, and there's some other extra things you can do with these, and I will show them to you today. So uh, let's open them up and let's uh, let's talk about the stuff inside, like about the parts, like what they look like, and so on and whatever. And yeah, when I, when I was there, I found these. I found these two model kits. These two fighter jets. This first one, this one right here is a, is a F-22. And this one is a F-15. And they're both at the 1, 144 scale. And uh, if you look at it more carefully, if you look at it more closely, this F-22 is based on the one from the US Air Force, the you know, real life one. But this F-15 is actually, uh, they call it, it's actually from a, it's actually uh, from a video game. Called Ace Combat because you can see like F fifteen Galuda, yeah Galuda. I think that's like then that's the name. I think that's uh, in one of the Ace Combat games for well, Ace Combat Six. I think it's the name of the squadron. But I never played Ace Combat Six, so I don't really know the story. So as we, I don't know Galuda because I only played Ace Combat Four and Ace Combat Five. So enough talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what it. And uh, what I like, what I liked about these is that they look very realistic, and like the paint job is already done. Like you don't have to do the paint job; you just put it together. And by the way, that actually wasn't that thick. it wasn't that cheap either. Like the models one one hundred forty four, so it's a small model, but oh yeah, it was kind of expensive. So like I said before, I got this at a model store in Akihabara, Tokyo, Japan, and I forgot the name of the store, but. It's it's it was in a department store. It was like uh, near the near the subway subway no not sort of, near the train station not the one of those commuter train stations. They have a department store that sells a lot of electronics. By the way, Akihabara uh, used to be known for electronics before all the you know anime stuff and model kit stuff kind of came in. <laughs> yeah, they they used to be known for electronics. So anyway, so it was this electronics department store next to the commuter train station where I found these two model kits. They have a big shop for models, all sorts of things like model airplanes, uh, I don't like military dioramas, uh, you know, those Gundam models, model trains, pretty much everything. So check it out if you guys are in the area. And I got to warn you though, before you go to Akihabara, be prepared to lose a lot of money. <laughs> Alright, enough talk. Let's open this up and take a look at them. Yeah. And here we are. We have a closer view of these two model kits. The first one is this F-15E Galuda 1. Like I mentioned before, this one is from the video game series called Ace Combat. Yeah, it's one of those video games where you play as a fighter pilot. And it takes place in an alternate timeline. But they have the exact same F-15 though. <laughs> and this other one is an F-22 for the US Air Force. So this is the realistic version. 
they also have an Ace Combat version for the F-22. You know, for those of you who know, uh, in Ace Combat 4, there was a pilot named Mobius 1. Yeah, they have they have a model of his airplane, but I did, but that one was sold out when I was there, so I got the I got the realistic U.S. Air Force version. And the Galuda, from what I saw, he Galuda is the squadron in um, Ace Combat Six, but I never played that game, so I can't confirm if that's actually correct or not. <coughs> and also, these models came. They also have this. They also have some accessories. Here's one that makes the airplane looks like makes that makes the airplane look like it's in flight. And there's also a LED light that you can attach to the back to make it look like the, to make it to make the thrusters look like they're working. But I didn't I didn't buy the LED lights or the or this tower looking thing because I you know I wanted to save money. Because these two kits they actually went cheap and. I think they're worth the money because the the designs look realistic and the paint job is already done. Yeah, the paint job is already done. That's the big part. And by the way, it's a uh, one one hundred forty four scale. So let's open them up. Yep, here we are. We got the parts. This first, this one is for the F twenty two, and this one is for the F fifteen. And like I said before, they 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 already have the paint job done. So for example, if you look at the main body, they already have all the patterns, all the right colors all done. Yep. And then like even the missiles, like the bombs and the missiles, the like the little details, like those yellow stripes, they they have they have all that painted on it already. And like let's see other yeah, they got other weapon systems. Yeah, so even so even this missile, you know, these missiles they got the they got the red, the black, the yellow, you know, what you see on a real missile. And like oh it's like very small details. Like how would how would you paint that? You gotta be good, you have to be an artistic type of person. But from what I heard with paint jobs, the sprays are actually the best option, but they're you know, not cheap. Yep, check it out, F-22 Raptor. So, and they also have this from the F-15. So I think uh, putting this kit together, well, I, w I wouldn't say it would be quick, but it, w it would be faster than that F-22 model that I used to have. Yeah, the first video that I uploaded, that one took a long time. This one will probably take a long time, but not as long. And then we got the book booklet. It's all written in Japanese. So I, I gotta go by the pictures. Oh no. English side ruined. Must use Japanese instructions. Yep, this one too. Flip 22. I'll probably, I'll probably need to use the paste. Yeah. Anyway, this is the. I mean, there's not much else to say. All I can say is the models, the pieces look detailed. They look fine. The colors are all there. And then, I mean, that the decals is only a small piece. There's not much to put for the decals, which is also good. Putting on decals is actually more complicated than just using regular stickers. You need you need a, a pair of tweezers and a cup of water. And you have to be very careful. They're 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 actually very flimsy. Like like for example back in that first video that I uploaded that F twenty three Raptor. When I try to build when I try to put the decals on that one, yeah, I, I messed up a few of them. <laughs> okay, so anyway. That's about it, and and I'll upload the next video, or well, next video videos of me building these model airplanes. And there's, of course, there's gonna be music playing in that background too. So uh, see you guys next time, and have a good day. And also stay tuned for that video.